Hi, this is the uh, follow-on uh, video to my um, video on the A uh, the A two eight zero two two variable frequency drive. A lot of people have um, sent lots of questions. Um, one um, is, can you add a um, emergency mushroom button stop? to your drive um, yes you can um, I, I have one um, and it, I put it on the input power to the drive so when you hit hit the button it actually kills the drive as well um, just stops everything um, that works really well um, some other questions I've had um, uh, about power and um, um, reversing and things like that we'll, we'll get into a few of the questions as we, as we proceed so so this is the manual that came with my drive um, it's a um, um, a poorly translated manual from um, uh, Chinese I think um, so it's not that easy to follow um, here we have the uh, safety precautions um, which are normal safety precautions for any uh, electrical device you gotta realize you've got some heavy power coming through this um, here we have the wiring diagrams um, not what I'll do what I'm going to do I'm going to just run through this book and have um, quite a bit of time on each page so you can freeze it and zoom in and just in case you don't have this manual uh, so here's the wiring diagram you've got um, either single phase in or three phase in um, and the external um, control ports um, and your um, other control inputs um, so uh, that's your wiring here we have just a description of the front panel um, pretty straightforward Now we start coming into the um, configuration of parameters. Now, um, this device is obviously uh, designed to either to be run on, uh, I think, the default of 50 hertz or the 400 hertz for some of the um, high-speed units, um, the high-speed motor units. 400 hertz uh, generally is very fast spindle speeds, uh, and 50 hertz is... Um, a lot of the UK and other other countries. I'm currently in the US, so uh, I set my default to um, so the initial startup frequency to 60 hertz. And then we have the acceleration time. Um, they have quite long acceleration and de acceleration times. I didn't want it to take that long for my mill to um, spin up. Um, five seconds. Um, even five seconds to be honest it's a little slow I may I may alter that um, the maximum frequency that's the maximum frequency or the maximum speed your motor can take mine is a, a 60 Hertz motor um, I did not want to drive that any faster than um, it was designed to spin um, I did not want an uncontainment of my motor so that's quite straightforward um, minimum runtime frequencies and then we talk about motor rate rating frequency that's uh, that's just the mate, uh, rating of the motor so you see I, I selected the, the maximum to the same as the rating and uh, then the other um, I didn't really alter a lot of the other times <coughs> and configuration settings um, a lot of this is um, where your where your maximum torque is um, we can follow that on other pages um, and your uh, parameter management is the other one you want to uh, do is if it's set to two it locks all of these so you it can't be adjusted accidentally okay now we get into the description of um, what all these control ports do so you can see um, your PN3 is the um, the input of of the run frequency range uh, so you can either have a panel button or you can have external uh, external signals um, again you can just run through this and, and pick out what you're using the unit for um, mine's just simple speed control of a mill so um, for me it was pretty simple 
Um, again, uh, I didn't alter any of the DC braking voltages or any of that. Um, I just left all of this as default. Um, <clears throat> and just leave these on the page so you can read it at your will. Then you have your error messages. Um, I've been really fortunate I've not had any problems with my unit at all. Um, but here are what your error messages will be. Um, so you can, if you are getting messages, you can read it here and, and work out what's going wrong for you. Maintenance and repair, um, that's pretty straightforward. You know, you, you need to have it in a, a nice environment. You don't want it to be too damp, too too hot, too cold. Um, periodic maintenance, well, it's just, I mean, it's, it's a solid state unit. There's not a lot of maintenance other than the cooling fan. Um, you just, just need to make sure it's, you, you keep it nice and clean. Uh, and that you don't have um, the ability for dirt or, or swarf or anything to drop down in that uh, cooling fan port. And there we are. Uh, well now we're on to the Chinese part. One um, question that I did have, um, if I just come back, the um, PN34. Um, now if we look at PN34, someone asked, can, um, can it be set so it will auto recover after a power loss? Um, if you set, um, PN34 to anything other than zero or 99, it should, um, recover as long as the power comes back within two and a half seconds. Um, it also states that if you set it to 99, the auto recover will happen um, with an infinite time, starting from the, the low frequency. Um, mine does not do that. I, I, I've actually tried that and set it, and it didn't make any difference. Um, that says the low frequency. Where's my... Um, it's possible that the reason it's not doing anything is that my minimum runtime frequency is set to 1.5 hertz so when it uh, initializes it may come back on at 1.5 hertz um, I need to look at that and find out if I change that to 60 hertz as to whether um, on power failure um, set to 99 whether it will come back on to speed um, anyway that's uh, that's all I've got at the moment um, I hope this is uh, helpful um, uh, for me this unit has been uh, really really helpful um, I didn't want to keep flicking belts all the time so um, there you go thanks a lot speak to you soon